said, a bank isn't a place to lock up money. It's a place to set it free. What if the point of banking wasn't to bank at all, but to put your ideas to work? What if your bank asked, what if, a little more? Well, what if we told you, we do? We're American Bank and Trust, where what if meets why not? If you are ready to change what you get out of banking, start a relationship with us. What if you made the move today? Winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices. From cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com now. What if we said a bank isn't a place to lock up money? It's a place to set it free. What if the point of banking wasn't to bank at all, but to put your ideas to work? What if your bank asked, what if, a little more? Well, what if we told you, we do? We're American Bank and Trust, where what if meets why not? If you are ready to change what you get out of banking, start a relationship with us. What if you made the move today? We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. As community bankers, BankWest employees are deeply committed to supporting local causes, growing the local economy, and creating local opportunities. At a time when you can bank anywhere, we hope you choose BankWest. We'll be your financial partner for the long haul, helping you and your community achieve financial success. BankWest. Convenient. Connected. Committed. Member FDIC. Bruns Market is your small hometown grocery store located in Burke's Main Street. Bringing our best to you is our store slogan, and we intend to do just that. We have a full service market that includes fresh meat and produce. Our deli will slice your meats and cheeses fresh upon your request. We also have dairy and frozen departments along with some bakery items. We'll help you with all of your grocery needs, which includes checking your items out and carrying them out to your car. No self checkouts here. We also do deliveries. Stop in and check us out while we check your groceries out. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbillingcenter.com. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Coaches Lawn Service is partnered with RG Sprinklers to be your complete full-service lawn maintenance company. Their team is up for every job, managing projects with the skill and experience their clients expect. Services include fertilizer, weed control, yard cleanup, residential and commercial mowing, and lawn sprinkler services, dethatching, overseeding, aerating, and backyard mosquito control. For free estimates, call Rich at 605-481-0131 or Gene at 605-830-0012. Coaches Lawns. Dakota Auto Care at 112 West 5th Street in Gregory, South Dakota is a Napa Auto Care Center using quality Napa parts to perform high quality diagnostics and repair services on all foreign and domestic automobiles. All technicians employed are ASC certified. Jason and the crew are dedicated to customer satisfaction and maintain the highest standards of the automotive service profession. For all your automotive repairs, call 605-835-8866 Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Dakota Auto Care is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla activities. 
Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Gregory Lane's restaurant. Welcome to Gregory Gorillas Live. It's the season finale for the girls' basketball team as the Gregory Lady Gorillas play host to the Bon Home Lady Cavaliers. Uh, the Gregory Gorillas have kind of had a tale of two halves this season, uh, going one and nine in their first ten games, um, going tonight trying to win their last five of the regular season uh, and finish eight and two in the second half. Um, so the grill has come in at 8 and 11 tonight. And uh, Bon Home comes in, I believe, at 7 and 12. Um, in our Bon Home, um, unfortunately, has had a very brutal schedule, much like the Gorillas have. They come out of that loaded Region 5A with six of the seven teams, or 13 and six or better. Um, and then, unfortunately, um, Bon Home uh, kind of bears the brunt of that. Uh, Gregory um, sits as the number four seed in the region, in Region 6B. I believe they've locked that up. That should mean a home game on Tuesday night. Um, the five seed, though, um, kind of flipped overnight. Now it looks like Westington Springs has the upper hand on that. Um, both Westington Springs and Marty play tonight. Um, if Westington Springs wins, they will wrap that up. Even if they lose, um, it looks like it could be very, very close, possibly ending up in a dead heat. Um, but Westington Springs beat Marty head-to-head in the regular season. So, um, But Gregory does sit pretty solidly in the four seed. Um, probably be a home game Tuesday night against either Marty or Westington Springs. Um, in earlier action tonight, um, the JV game ended up very close. Uh, Gregory got out to a nice first half lead, but weren't able to hold it as Bonholm came back to win 23-21. to and the boys' JV uh, fared a little bit better with a 47-18 to win in earlier action. All right, we're getting set um, for the game for player introductions, um, beginning with the cheerleaders. Um, and then player introductions and the national anthem, and then we can get underway at this regular season finale uh, between the Gorillas and the Bon Home Cavaliers. Gregory cheerleaders are Marissa Zimmerman, Adriana Ziedi, and and uh, Ashley Reinhardt. And starting for Bon Holmes Lady Cavaliers, number one is Erin Husingfeld. She's a 5'8 sophomore. Number two is Camille Sakora. She's a 5'5 five, five senior. Five, seven, junior, number, four, Jaden 
Number four is Jaden Corton. She's a five foot seven junior. Number twenty one is Journey Vavruska, a five foot five sophomore. And finally, number thirty three, Olivia Baresh, a five ten sophomore. And now starting for Gregory's Gorillas. Number 24 is Maya Detterman, a six foot, four, six foot sophomore. And number 11, Cassidy Kaiser, a five foot ten junior. Number three is Brooklyn Kenzie, a five eleven senior. Number 13 is Gracie Kenzie, a 5'9 senior. And finally, number 22, Sierra Rencounter, a 5'8 senior. Now for the national anthem. Uh, we're getting set for opening tip-off. Looks like Olivia Baresh will take the tip-off for the Cavaliers. Brooklyn Kenzie for the Gorillas. And we are underway. Gregory controls the ball. There's a steal right off the bat for Vabrushka. Gets it inside. Nice basket for Husenfeld. Another attempted steal, but this one's a foul. And it's on Husenfeld. Pressure defense from, from the Cavaliers. They get the steal, but turn it back over to Cassidy Kaiser. She misses a layup. Husingfeld with a rebound. Cavaliers bring it up. Nice little jumper from Jaden Corton. She has two. Kaiser drives in the middle, dishes to Brooklyn. She misses, but Gracie has the rebound on the other side. Stolen away from her, though. 
Bresh with the block or steal. Here's Husingfeld for a three. It was out of bounds as it hit the top of the backboard. Ball goes to the Gorillas. Down four with 6.35 to play in this opening quarter. Oh, the pass. Tried to get Maya Detterman underneath. Stolen away, but Brooklyn Kinsey gets a steal. Dribbles off the foot of a Cavalier. Corton has it. And that is blocked out of bounds by Kaiser. So it's a Cavalier's ball underneath. They get it into Vavruska. Her shot won't fall, but she draws a foul. The foul's on Gracie Kinsey. First team foul. Journey Vavruska makes the first free throw. 5 nothing. Lady Cavalier lead. Second free throw is good. Jump ball is called. Possession goes to the Cavaliers. Husenfeld is fouled. Gracie Kenzie, her second foul here quickly. Six minutes, nine seconds still to play in the first quarter. And she has two already. Cavaliers miss their shot. Vavruska is called for a foul. Opbrook and Vanderwerf enter the game. Give some more ball handling. It's a jump ball called. Possession is to Gregory. Brooklyn Kinsey drives in, misses. Rebounding foul. It's called on Maya Detterman, her first, team's third. Five minutes, 49 seconds left in the opening quarter. Six nothing still is the score. Cassidy Kaiser was waiting for that pass, jumps in the way, but is only able to tip it out of bounds. Three-pointer is off the mark. Rebounded by Opbrook. Kaiser loses the ball. And she fouls to prevent a layup. She'll put Aaron Husingfeld to the line to shoot two. That's a first foul on Cassidy Kaiser, fourth team foul. Free throw is no good. First free throw misses. Second free throw also bounces out. Rebounded by Brooklyn Kinsey. Morgan Opbrook takes a three. Misses. Jump ball called. Possession to the Lady Cavs.
pass. It's almost tipped away, but Husingfeld comes up with it, makes the layup. 8 nothing. Cavaliers lead. Maya Detterman drives. Will cannot get the ball to fall. Rebound is out of bounds off the Cavaliers. Gorilla basketball underneath. Four minutes, 45 seconds left in this first period. Maya Detterman gets the ball. This time she lays it in. First points for Gregory at 437 mark. On the other end. Corton misses her shot out of bounds to Gregory. Oh, that pass gets away from Detterman. Oh. This time. Cassidy Kaiser doesn't quite get there. It's a foul. Her second, fifth team foul. Cavaliers inbound on the side. Pavruska loses it, but it finds its way to Olivia Buresh. She makes the basket, 10-2 lead, and Gregory calls a timeout. We'll take a break with them. Three minutes, 58 seconds left in this first quarter. Main Street Gregory is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla school activities. Stop in before, during, or after the game and let Bubba and his crew serve you from their large selection of your favorite food and beverage items, including their delicious handmade pizzas. Don't forget the bowling alley is always open for your league bowling, kids' parties, or family get-togethers. Gregory Lanes wishes all the student-athletes best of luck this year in all your school activities. Welcome back to the first quarter between the Gregor Gorillas and the Bon Home Lady Cavaliers. Um, it will be Gorilla Basketball trailing 10-2. to two. Hopbrook travels, turning it over to the Cavaliers. Corton dribbles it out of bounds, turning it back over to the Gorillas. And out of bounds off of Opbrook, right back to the Cavaliers. Gavruska for three, off the mark. Cassidy Kaiser with the rebound. She brings it up the floor. She pulls up for three. Maya Detterman with the rebound. Cannot get the follow-up to go in. Barash rebounds for Bon Home. Corton drives and she draws a foul off of Detterman. It's a second foul on Maya Detterman. Three minutes, 22 seconds remaining in this first period. And the first free throw is good. It's Corton at the line shooting. Second free throw is also good. Ten points, Cavalier lead, 12-2. Here, Ren counter finds Asia Vanderwerf for a two, breaks the press. Cassidy Kaiser getting closer and closer to pulling off a steal there. Again, tips it out of bounds. The Cavaliers inbound on the side. Three minutes, eight seconds left in this first period. Husenfeld 
Her pass is tipped away by Ren Counter. Scrum on the floor, ends up a jump ball. Gorilla's possession. Kaiser puts up a running jumper. Rebound goes out of bounds. It'll be Cavalier ball. Two minutes, 37 seconds left in this first period. Gorillas are bringing some full court pressure. Three-point shot from the side. Corton misses. Cassie Kaiser with the rebound, goes coast to coast, draws a foul. Misses the shot, so she'll shoot two. Just a third team foul, but it's the second foul on Vavruska. First free throw is good. Second free throw is also good. Kaiser has two. 12 to six, and this is a steal. Oak Brook is able to get it. Asia Vanderwerf wide open. The three is good. Suddenly a three-point game gives a little much-needed life to the uh, Gorillas here in the first quarter. Husingfeld drives, finishes the play. Nice play by her, and ball quickly ahead to Vanderwerf. Layup and the foul. Cuts the lead back to three as a chance to make the free throw and cut it to one. Two, I'm sorry. The foul is on Baresh, her first. Fourth team foul for the Cavaliers. Free throw rolls off. It is rebounded by Brooklyn Kenzie and she's fouled. No, sorry, they're gonna call it on Brooklyn Kenzie. That is the seventh team foul, shooting one-on-one -on -one for the Cavaliers. Bridget Eliason enters the game, and Cassidy Kaiser takes a rest. A minute 33 to play in the first quarter. Bresch's first free throw is good. Four-point Cavalier lead. She has three on the night. Second free throw rolls out. Elias in the air to corral the rebound. Brooklyn Kenzie travels before putting up a three. Minute 24 left in this first quarter. Ball is into Barash, a nice pass underneath. Misses it, layup. Gorillas come up with the ball. Oh, Brooke has it on the top. The inbound pass to Ren Counter was swatted away right to Brooklyn Kenzie. She draws a foul. This is the uh, second foul on. Husingfeld, fifth team foul. Brooklyn Kenzie shoots two. First free throw is good. 15 to 12. 
The Lady Cavaliers lead by three with 55 seconds left to go in this opening quarter. Second one is also good. Two-point lead. That's a... That, thought that was going to be stolen for sure, but it gets through. Good ball movement. But they're running out of time on the shot clock. Sakura drives into trouble. Ball is tipped out of bounds, but they only have four seconds left in the shot clock. Cavaliers will inbound underneath. Foul is called. Eight team foul for Gregory. He'll be shooting a bonus. Sarah Red counters first foul. It is Tacey Ronick at the line. She makes the first free throw. She was a force in the JV game earlier. Second free throw also rolls in. Four point Cavalier lead. 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Vanderwerf brings the ball up the floor. Pass is tipped away out of bounds off of the Cavaliers. 12.7 seconds left. Gorillas will inbound on the side. Opbrook drives baseline into Kenzie. Her shot misses. Rebounded by Corton. Asia Vanderwerf gets a steal right as the horn sounds. So that's the end of the first quarter. 17 to 13, a four point Lady Cavalier lead. We'll be back in a minute. Grossenberg Implement is your John Deere parts headquarters, and they're going to save you money on your sprayer this week. Save 8% on sprayer hub oils. Don't feel comfortable changing the oil yourself? Then ask their service department to help. Schedule your sprayer for a winter inspection and save even more time and money. This week only, save 8% on sprayer hub oil at your servicing dealer, Grossenberg Implement, with eight locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming. Stop by today or go online, grossenberg.com. Welcome back to the second quarter of the bat girls' basketball game between Gregory Grillas and the Bon Home Lady Cavaliers. It's a four-point game. Gregory was down by as much as ten in the first quarter, but have fought their way back. This is a bad pass. Pass straight to Morgan Opbrook. She takes the layup, misses, gets her own rebound. I think it's a jump ball will be called, though. Gregory's basketball. Asia Vanderwerf gets the ball open to uh, Cassie Kaiser in the corner. She misses a three. It's rebounded by Sakura. I believe it's knocked out of bounds by Gregory. Babrushka brings the ball up. It's tipped back away. Uh, the pass almost gets away. The Baresh is able to corral it and put in the two.
Gracie cut. Kenzie misses the layup inside. Babrushka with the rebound for the Cavs. Corton drives her shot. It's partially blocked. Kaiser with the rebound. Up ahead to Opbrook. She lays it in for two. Four point game, six minutes, 42 seconds remain in the second quarter. Babrushka gets it to Husingfeld. Ultimately, the ball is turned over. Maya Detterman picks it up. Cassie Kaiser drives. Asia Vanderwerf alone on the side gets it into Maya Detterman. She misses but draws a foul. Six team foul on the Cavs. First on Corton. Team fouls are evening up here a little bit, just like the score. Maya Detterman makes the first to cut the lead to three. Six minutes, 15 seconds remain in this first, second quarter. Second free throw misses. Bresh with a rebound for the Lady Cavs. Timeout is called by the Cavaliers. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll be back in 30 seconds. You have the right products for your field? Contact Sherm Gucci with Hogemeyer, the right seed. Sherm will help you select the right products for your acres, corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and sorghum. If world-class genetics and a seed rep with an unwavering commitment is important to you, go with Sherm Gucci and Hogemeyer, the right seed. Phone 402-760-2172. Feel more Welcome back to the second quarter. Six minutes, 12 seconds left in this opening half. It's a three-point Lady Cavalier lead. It's their ball. Get the ball inside to Baresh, but she misses. Kaiser with the rebound. Ulbrich gets the ball into Gracie Kenzie. She misses. Rebounded by Sakura. Three point shot on the way by Corton. She misses. Rebounded by Kaiser. Pushed up ahead to Opbrook. She misses a layup but draws the foul. Seventh team foul on the Cavaliers. And this is the second foul on Corton. She misses the first free throw. Opp broke at the line. She'll shoot a second. This one bounces off hard. Scramble for the ball. The Cavaliers had it, tried to pass it ahead, but there were too many gorillas in between, so it's turned back over to Gregory. Brooklyn Kenzie passes it into Maya Detterman, but she loses it out of bounds. Von home basketball. Corton drives, dishes it back out. They work. Ravrushka drives. Her shot misses. Brooklyn Kinsey. Pulls down the rebound. Cassie Kaiser tries to drive to the basket. Dishes. Maya Detterman misses the shot. Vaughn home with the rebound. Corton pushes, shoots a long two. Rebounding foul will be called. Looks like it's going against the Cavaliers. Their eighth team foul. Third foul on 
Husingfeld. Kennedy Kozak enters the game for her. Have Maya Detterman on the line shooting a one on one. One and one. Bridget Eliason enters the game for Opbrook. Maya misses the shot. Babruska with the rebound. Corton drives, puts up a jump shot from the side. Gets her own rebound, loses it. Foul will be called, fighting for the ball underneath. And fouls on Sierra Red counter. Her second, team ninth, one on one for Corton. Gets the first one to go. Four point lead, 20 to 16. Vaughn home leads. Four minutes remain in the second quarter. Second free throw misses. Ren counter with a rebound. Yeah. Cassidy Kaiser makes a three from the side. Cuts the lead to one. Closest it's been since zero to zero. Brooklyn gets a steal. Some surprising the fouls they've called so far this game. They let that contact go. Ends up a jump ball. Possession to the Cavaliers. Sakura loses the ball. It's swatted away by Eliason to Kenzie. Cassidy Kaiser has it on the top. To Vanderwerf, to Kaiser in the corner. Across to Bridget Eliason. Inside to Brooklyn Kenzie. Nice turnaround jumper. It gives Gregory their first lead, 21 to 20. Three minutes, 11 seconds to play in this first half. Cassie Kaiser swats that pass out of bounds. Cavaliers inbound on the side. Three minutes to play in the second quarter. Sakura drives, puts up a shot. It's no good. Gracie Kenzie with the rebound draws the foul. And I believe it's Sakura. Ninth team foul for the Cavaliers, so it'll be a one in one. First foul on Sakura. Gracie Kenzie makes her first free throw. 22 to 20, Gregory leads. Second free throw bounces out. Nice rebound by Baresh. Ruska drives it quickly up the floor, gets away with a terrible carry. However, in the scrum, comes out to Kaiser, but her long pass is cut off. Nice pass into Baresh. The shot will not fall. The rebound eventually comes down to Kaiser. Bridget Eliason on the side. Her shot misses. Rebound Corton. Minute 50 left to play here in the second quarter. Ruska for three. Oh, almost. 
However, the Kozak there to rebound that. Makes the layup, ties the game at 22. Minute 23 left to play in the first half. Well, Cassidy Kaiser's shot is blocked. Nearly gets the steal. Three pointer on the way. It's no good. Rebound to Baresh. She's fouled. Tenth team foul. Fouls on Brooklyn Kinsey, her second. Baresh will shoot two. Makes the first. Gives the lead back to the Cavaliers. 23 to 22. 55 seconds left in the first half. Second free throw misses, rebounded by Vavruska. She takes the three from the side, misses. Another offensive rebound. Drives too hard off the glass. Opbrook finally gets the rebound for the Gorillas. Kaiser drives all the way. Her shot misses, Bresh with the rebound. 30 seconds left to play in this first half. Cortan's shot is no good. Kaiser with the rebound. 22 seconds and Gregory pushes coast to coast. Kaiser misses, gets her own rebound but misses again. Cavaliers come up with a rebound. Lavruska gets it into Barash. She gets a nice shot off but it does not fall. So at halftime, our score is 23 to 22, a very tight game. Uh, early on, looked like it was gonna, like uh, the Cavaliers might run away with it, but it's much closer now. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes for the second half of this game. A bank isn't a place to lock up money. It's a place to set it free. What if the point of banking wasn't to bank at all, but to put your ideas to work? What if your bank asked, what if, a little more? Well, what if we told you, we do? We're American Bank and Trust, where what if meets why not? If you are ready to change what you get out of banking, start a relationship with us. What if you made the move today? and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. The spirit of cooperation has always been a part of farming and ranching. Today, that spirit is alive and well at your local co-op which supplies its valued members with the opportunity to grow and be profitable. For as long as people have been farming, they have always understood the benefit of working together. Your cooperative, local, loyal, trusted by generations. Rosebud Farmers Union is a proud supporter of all area youth and the Gregory Gorillas. 
Stop by Rosebud Farmers Union Co-op in Gregory or Fairfax today for all of your farming needs. The Office Product Center started doing business in 1981 and will be celebrating 40 years of business in October. They service and sell manual typewriters, Abbey machines, hand crank cash registers, and duplicators. They also service and sell connected copiers, printers, scanners, office supplies, and office furniture. Over the past 40 years, they've adopted and educated themselves to today's technology, and they support local students in all of their activities. They want to thank you for allowing them to be a part of your past and look forward to working with you in the future. The office products. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. The she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. What if we said a bank isn't a place to lock up money? It's a place to set it free. What if the point of banking wasn't to bank at all, but to put your ideas to work? What if your bank asked, what if, a little more? Well, what if we told you, we do? We're American Bank and Trust, where what if meets why not? If you're ready to change what you get out of banking, start a relationship with us. What if you made the move today? We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. As community bankers, BankWest employees are deeply committed to supporting local causes, growing the local economy, and creating local opportunities. At a time when you can bank anywhere, we hope you choose BankWest. We'll be your financial partner for the long haul helping you and your community achieve financial success. Bank West. Convenient. Connected. Committed. Member FDIC. Bruns Market is your small hometown grocery store. Located in Burke's Main Street. Bringing our best to you is our store slogan, and we intend to do just that. We have a full-service market that includes fresh meat and produce. Our deli will slice your meats and cheeses fresh upon your request. We also have dairy and frozen departments along with some bakery items. We'll help you with all of your grocery needs, which includes checking your items out and carrying them out to your car. No self-checkouts here. We also do deliveries. Stop in and check us out while we check your groceries out. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. 
Coach's Lawn Service has partnered with RG Sprinklers to be your complete full-service lawn maintenance company. Their team is up for every job, managing projects with the skill and experience their clients expect. Services include fertilizer, weed control, yard cleanup, residential and commercial mowing, and lawn sprinkler services, dethatching, overseeding, aerating, and backyard mosquito control. For free estimates, call Rich at 605-481-0131 or Gene at 605-830-0012. Coaches Lawn Dakota Auto Care at 112 West 5th Street in Gregory, South Dakota is a Napa Auto Care Center using quality Napa parts to perform high quality diagnostics and repair services on all foreign and domestic automobiles. All technicians employed are ASC certified. Jason and the crew are dedicated to customer satisfaction and maintain the highest standards of the automotive service profession. For all your automotive repairs, call 605-835-8866 Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Dakota Auto Care is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla activities. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. We've got a history. Welcome back to the second half of the season finale between the Gregory Lady Gorillas hosting the Bon Home Lady Cavaliers. Uh, it's a one point game, 23 to 22. Good contest. Um, certainly didn't start out that way as uh, Bon Home pulled out to a 12 to 2 lead before Gregory started to come to life. Um, fouls may be a bit of a concern as I'm looking at the. Uh, Starting lineup, every player has two fouls for Gregory, not serious foul trouble, um, but enough. Uh, Gregory is paced in scoring. A uh, little bit of a surprise. Asa Vanderwerf had seven points to lead all score. The uh, Gorillas in the first half. Cassie Kaiser has five. Um, for the Cavaliers, Baresh has six, and Cortan has five. Uh, I think um, that Husingfeld uh, had a little more than probably was among the leading scorers too. She had three fouls and her number isn't up on the scoreboard yet to see how many points she had in the first half. We're about to get underway. Gorilla ball to start the second half. Gracie Kinsey takes a three and makes it. Shouldn't act so surprised, but she doesn't take a lot of threes. Gives the Gorillas a two-point lead. Husenfeld's number is up now. She has six points. Tied for the leading scorer. <sighs> However, Corton just made a basket to, make, to take the lead in scoring for the Cavaliers with seven. The game is tied at 25. Gracie Kenzie drives it in, misses a layup. The rebound on the other side. It was initially brought down by Maya Detterman, but tied up. The jump. Ball possession arrow goes to the Cavaliers. One minute gone in the third quarter. Bresh drives. The ball was kind of tipped away. Out of bounds to the Gorillas. She's able to kind of get a shot off. So it was. Physically impossible for the call they just made because she did put the shot up and it went out of bounds. But they called it Cavalier Ball. And it's stolen away while well, tipped around, still loose. 
Cavaliers get possession. Three-pointer on the way from Corton. Almost in. Rims out. Out of bounds to the Gorillas. Ball is tipped away. Passed ahead. Oh. No look pass right to the Gorillas. Turns it back over. Gracie Kinsey takes another long shot and drains it. That one was only two. But it gives the Gorillas a lead. 27 to 25. Five minutes, 40 seconds left in this third quarter. Resh out to Sakura for three, misses. Gracie Kinsey draws a foul, rebounding foul. That'll go against um, Corton. Jaden Corton picks up her third foul. Gorillas inbound, five minutes, 20 seconds left in this third quarter. Brooklyn Kinsey drives, takes a shot from the free throw line, out of bounds to the Cavaliers. Buresh drives, dishes it back out to Vavrushka, who drives the other side. She passes it back out. Husingfeld gets it underneath. It's blocked. Rebound by Brooklyn Kinsey. Brooklyn drives against Buresh. Lays it in for a four-point gorilla lead. Four and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. This ball gets away. Cassidy Kaiser gets to it. Drives up. Misses a layup. Rebounded by Kozak. Who's it? It's, oh, wow. Nice. Looked out of control, but she finishes the play. Sakura for two. It's her first basket of the night. Cuts the Gorilla lead to two. Three and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Three-pointer on the way, misses out of bounds to the Cavaliers. Entry pass was a little too hard to little too hard. Goes out of bounds to the Gorillas. And the Gorillas, just like that, turn it over. Pass was a little too far away from Opbrook. Tipped out of bounds by the Gorillas. Back to the Cavaliers. Okay. 
Dusingfeld drives, draws a foul on a completely stationary Gregory player. It's third foul on Maya Detterman. Vavruska drives, takes a wild shot. Maya Detterman controls the rebound. Detterman has the ball at the free throw line. Back out to Kaiser for a long three, in and out. Brooklyn, Kenzie keeps it alive, but eventually Jaden Corton comes down with the rebound for the Cavaliers. Vavruska travels with the ball, turning it back over to the Gorillas. Minute 43 left to play in the third quarter. Two-point Gorilla lead, 29-27. to 27. Asia Vanderwerf. Puts up a long two. Rebound pulled down by Sakura for the Cavaliers. Minute 20 left in the third quarter. Vruska takes a three. Misses. Rebounded by Kaiser. Oh, fine, nice pass. Finds Brooklyn Kenzie wide open underneath. That's Brooklyn's eighth point. Four point Gorilla lead. The ball is. The shot was blocked by the Gorillas, and I think a foul called in the ensuing scrum for the ball. And that is the fourth foul on Husingfeld. Second team foul, but been a couple of critical player fouls called on the players. Brooklyn Kenzie, she misses it this time. She tries to come up with a rebound, but she gets called with a foul, I believe. It's her third. Second team foul for the Gorillas. Since all the starters had two fouls at the end of the first half, every foul is also kind of an important foul. Eighteen seconds left in this third quarter. A drive, shot put up, rebound by... Opbrook. Vanderwerf puts up the desperation three. It's a four-point lead after three quarters, 31 to 27. We'll be back in a minute for the fourth quarter. Serving you, a history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local, and local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Gregory Lane's Restaurant and Lounge Main Street Gregory is a proud supporter of all Gregory Gorilla and Lady Gorilla school activities. 
stop in before, during, or after the game and let Bubba and his crew serve you from their large selection of your favorite food and beverage items, including their delicious handmade pizzas. Don't forget the bowling alley is always open for your league bowling, kids' parties, or family get-togethers. Gregory Lanes wishes all the student-athletes best of luck this year in all your school activities. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of the season regular season finale. Gregory Gorillas lead the Bonhomme Cavaliers by four. It'll be Gregory's ball to open the quarter. Not a lot of fouls called in that third quarter. Probably a good thing as both teams are in a little bit of foul trouble. Hopefully we have some room to play here in the fourth quarter too. Asia Vanderwerf shuffles her feet. Traveling call. Turns the ball over to the Lady Cavaliers. Corton, long three-pointer. Good rebound by Maya Detterman. Cassie Kaiser's shot is blocked. Maya Detterman with the rebound, and she's run into by Sakura. That'll be only her second foul. Brooklyn Kenzie enters the game for Gracie Kenzie. Timeout by the Gorillas. 30 second timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Welcome back to the fourth quarter between girls basketball action between the Gregory Gorillas, Bonhomme Lady Cavaliers. The Gorillas lead by four. Seven minutes, 24 seconds left in the game. Gorillas inbound underneath the basket. Opbrook puts up a long shot. Brooklyn Kenzie can't control the rebound. Goes to the Cavaliers. Kozak with a three is a long scrum for the ball. Jump ball called. Possession arrow goes to the Lady Cavaliers. They'll inbound underneath. Navruska drives, draws a foul off of Asia Vanderwerf. Third team foul. One of very few Gregory players who's not in foul trouble. That's just her first. Six and a half minutes left to go in the game. Navruska for three. Misses, long rebound, out of bounds. Goes to Gregory. Six minutes, 21 seconds left in the game. Kaiser brings the ball up the floor. Asia Vanderwer for three. Misses the rebound to Kozak. Bavruska drives. Takes it back out. Long three from Cortan. Misses. 
Brooklyn Kinsey with a rebound. Right back to her on the inside. Turnaround jumper. That's 10 for Brooklyn Kinsey. And we're going to have a timeout called. Full timeout for, by the uh, Cavaliers. We'll be back in a minute. Six point Gorilla lead, 33 to 27 implement is your John Deere parts headquarters and they're going to save you money on your sprayer this week. Save 8% on sprayer hub oils. Don't feel comfortable changing the oil yourself? Then ask their service department to help. Schedule your sprayer for a winter inspection and save even more time and money. This week only, save 8% on sprayer hub oil at your servicing dealer Grossenberg Implement with 8 locations in South Dakota, Nebraska and Wyoming. Stop by today or go online Grossenberg.com are you confident that you have the right products for your field? Contact Sherm Beauty with Hogemeyer, the right seed. Sherm will help you select the right products for your acres, corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and sorghum. If world-class genetics and a seed rep with an unwavering commitment is important to you, go with Sherm Gucci and Hogemeyer, the right seed. Phone 402-760-2172. Feel more confident. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of the regular season finale between the Burke Lady Gr uh, Gregory Lady Gorillas and the Bon Home Lady Cavaliers. It's a six-point gorilla lead with five minutes, 41 seconds left. Um, both teams only have three team fouls so far in the second half. Ball is tipped away. Brooklyn Kinsey comes up with it. Cassidy Kaiser takes a three from the top. Misses Kozak with the rebound for the Cavaliers. Ruska drives, loses the ball out of bounds. Goes to the Gorillas. Five minutes, five seconds left to go in the game. Well, Morgan Opbrook's pass to Brooklyn Kenzie gets away. Nice little pull-up shot by Sakura. Cuts the gorilla lead to four with four minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the game. Brooklyn Kinsey gets it down underneath to Gracie. Back out to Vanderwerf. Brooklyn Kinsey misses. Gracie Kinsey with the rebound. She also misses. Baresh gets the rebound for the Cavaliers. She drives, shoots, gets the roll. It's a two-point game. Four minutes, 11 seconds left. It's eight points for Baresh. Brooklyn Kenzie underneath, lays it in. She has 12. Another timeout called, full timeout. We'll be back in a minute. Three minutes, 52 seconds left in the game. 35-31, the Gorillas lead. And in control of your financial life, Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. The spirit of cooperation has always been a part of farming and ranching. Today, that spirit is alive and well at your local co-op which supplies its valued members with the opportunity to grow and be profitable. For as long as people have been farming, they have always understood the benefit of working together. Your cooperative, local, loyal, trusted by generations. Rosebud Farmers Union is a proud supporter of all area youth and the Gregory Gorillas. Stop by Rosebud Farmers Union Co-op in Gregory or Fairfax today for all of your farming needs. 
Welcome back to the, fun, the fourth quarter. Three minutes, 40 seconds left to go. Three-point shot by, by the Cavaliers. Cuts the lead to one. Maya Detterman scores on the other end. It brings the lead to three. Cortown loses control of the ball. Cassie Kaiser drives, draws a foul. She'll shoot two. And the foul is on Corton. That is her fourth. First shot from Kaiser bounces off. No good. Three minutes, six seconds left to go in the game. Second free throw is good. Four point gorilla lead again. Sakura gets it into Barash. Nice drive. She has 10. Cuts the grill lead to two with two minutes, 44 seconds left to play. Opbrook drives, rolls off. Brooklyn Kenzie with the rebound and the putback. 14 for Brooklyn. The Vruska drives, lays it up, misses. Foul is called on the rebound. Cassidy Kaiser's third foul, fourth team foul. Cavs, Cavaliers inbound underneath. Two minutes, 23 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Five second call, turns it back over to the Gorillas. Failed to get the ball inbounds. Now is a timeout by the Cavaliers, 30 second timeout. Be back in 30 seconds. The office products. The Office Product Center. Welcome back to the fourth quarter. Two minutes, 23 seconds left to play. Gorillas have a four-point lead, 40 to 36. It's Gorilla Ball. No pressure by the Cavaliers. Asia Vanderwerf's pass is tipped away by Baresh. Nice play. Oh! A, a collision between two Cavalier players. And the ball goes out of bounds. Fortunately, everyone gets up and is okay. Minute 50 seconds left. Four point Gorilla lead. Six seconds on the shot clock. They get it into Maya Detterman. Lays it in. Very nice play. Six-point grill lead. Minute 15 to go. Cavaliers work it to the side. Here's... A three-pointer, and it's good. That's Aaron Husingfield, 
She has nine points. And a timeout called. We'll be back in a minute doing business in 1981 and will be celebrating 40 years of business in October. They service and sell manual typewriters, Abbey machines, hand crank cash registers, and duplicators. They also service and sell connected copiers, printers, scanners, office supplies, and office furniture. Over the past 40 years, they've adopted and educated themselves to today's technology, and they support local students in all of their activities. They want to thank you for allowing them to be a part of your past and look forward to working with you in the future. The Office Products... Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. The she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Limestone Canyon's flowing... And we're back in the final minute of the fourth quarter. We have a good one here. Three-point gorilla lead. It's their basketball. 54.1 seconds left. Only four team fouls for each team, so won't be shooting free throws unless it's a shooting foul. Now there's some pressure brought up by the Cavaliers. Gregory's just... Trying to kill a little time. Cassie Kaiser drives, misses a layup. I think a foul will be called on the floor here, trying to rebound. It's probably a lucky call for the Gorillas because they were about to get a fast break. Cavaliers were. The foul is on Cassidy Kaiser. It's her fourth. There are 30 seconds left to go in this fourth quarter and a nice steal by Brooklyn Kenzie she takes it all the way nice stop lay it in five point lead 20 seconds left Lavrushka drives gets it open to Sakura for three it's no good rebound Brooklyn Kenzie they call him the uh, foul Cassidy Kaiser, but that is only the fifth team foul. So it'll be inbounded. 6.6 .6 seconds left. Barest is second foul for what it's worth. 16 points for Brooklyn Kinsey on the night. Oh, it's a steal. Who's in? So. Didn't have time to even get a shot up. So our final score, 44 to 39. Gregor Gorillas end the regular season on a five-game winning streak. Um, improve their record to 9 and 11. And they'll be heading into the playoffs as the four seed with a home game here on Tuesday. Um, coming up, uh, the second half of the doubleheader, we'll see the boys in action. Um, but that does it for me tonight. Um, good night and God bless.